Hello everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Donita, your Pinay teacher in Norway. And in this video, I will share to you how Norwegians celebrate the Holy Week. And I will give you some important vocabulary words that they usually used in Holy Week. For example, this one, it is Poskehare. It is Easter Bunny. And she will be with us today. And also, while doing this blog, I will create a Björg Kris. So it is a kind of decoration that a typical Norwegian used to decorate when it is Poske. Poske is Easter. So they create this Björg Kris. It is a kind of branch from the tree and they create it with this fjär feathers and some Poske egg. So we will create Björg Kris together with my poske hare for idag easter bunny so holy week is poske uke po noshk and uh, before i start teaching you the important vocabulary words and uh, decorating this i would like to greet my brother he celebrated his birthday yesterday march 31 and today is april 1 it is monday thursday it is char torsdag in norwegian so char torsdag Monday Thursday. So belated happy birthday to my little brother Jovirens Maige. Ayan shout out to you. <laughs> I already shout out you, okay? So this is my birthday gift to you because he always wanted me to greet him in one of my videos. So this is it. Belated happy birthday to you, my brother. So now I already have the branches here and I will use different colors of fiat. So this is feathers. So they use this and yeah, clip on like that. So if you will notice all those things that I'm using now, I didn't buy it. So we have this many years ago. My husband already bought this one before I came here in Norway. This is Poskehare. Poskehare Easter Bunny. So we will clip these feathers here. After after Monday Thursday, it is Black Friday. So in Norwegian, Black Friday is Lang Fredag. So Norwegians used to climb the mountains, go hiking, or they used to go skiing because this month, April, or this this season, it is the last time that they can go to mountain skiing so that is the things that they used to do norwegian used to celebrate their poske uke and their poske ferry it is holiday in holy week in hita hita is a cabin so it is kind of cabin and uh, yeah norwegians when it is Monday Thursday or when it is uh, Poske Uke, Holy Week, they used to do that. They used to climb the mountains or just walk outside and enjoy the nature. So that are Norwegians. Every ferry, they used to do that. So that is one thing that I really love in Norwegians. They have this way of living. It is called free loop sleeve, open air living or open air life or a life outside so that is a typical Norwegian they used to do that when it is Langfredag, Shartorsdag and I can say that it's kind of similar in our tradition because I came from the Philippines we used to climb a mountain a mountain that has a cross on top this is a kind of traditions that we used to do when it is Holy Week that is one thing that I've noticed the similarity that they used to climb the mountains yes so here in Norway they they have also mountains with cross in our community we have that and they used to climb it when it is Holy Week yeah let's focus on the Holy Week first so the Holy Week or Poske Uke started or they started it in Palmesondag or the Palm Sunday and uh, when it is Holy Week Yellow or gul is a very important color in Norwegians, just like what I'm wearing. Uh, they say it is poske jenser, poske, Easter, jenser or sweater. Norwegians, they have this samensate ur. Samensate ur is 
summon BTR together. So they put together words to create an, a new word. You can say that summon sate or is a compound word in English. So they used to combine the words. Poske yenser, Easter sweater, poske hare, Easter bunny. So now I'm finished with the feathers and I will put this. And now I will put this. This is poske egg. So poske Easter egg. So these are the Easter eggs that I will use to yeah, put in our bjorkris. Yeah. Creating this bjorkris, it is very easy. And you can use your creativity. I will show the finished product of my Bjorkris after. Okay, Bjorkris. So it is a kind of tree, a birch tree. I'm not pretty sure, maybe there's another term with it in other dialects or other regions here in Norway. So you can just comment down below. And of course, we, I will continue to give you more ideas about how Norwegians celebrate their holy week because I've already told you about uh, Lang Freda that they usually go outside, enjoy the nature, walk, climb, go hiking or sometimes they go fishing or island hopping. So Norwegians usually go outside just celebrating in their cabins or heat. After Lang Freda or Black Friday, they have this Poske afternoon. It is the afternoon of Saturday until the morning of Sunday. So Poske afternoon, it is holy afternoon, which uh, Norwegians usually celebrate and eat together with their families. So one of the typical noshkmat or typical typical Norwegian food when it is holy week is a roasted lamb. But some of them also used to eat the fish. For example, today we're going to eat the salmon. So I can take some pictures and, and show to you what is salmon or lax ponosk. So Norwegian salmon is very popular all over the world. I can admit to myself that Norwegian salmon is one of the best salmon in the world. Yes, I love salmon. Let's continue. So after Poske Aften, uh, Norwegians also love because we're talking about we're talking about foods now. The Norwegian salmon. They also used to eat some clementine, apelsine, or any citrus fruit. It's also popular in, in Holy Week. And of course, they have this Poske Öl. So poske öl, it is a kind of beer. I will just show you the picture that they used to drink when it is yeah poske often, and when it is Sunday, of course they have this Easter bunny, and they have the egg hunting, and they have this kind of egg. It comes with different sizes. It can be like this one or big as this one. So these are types of poske egg or Easter egg and you can open them and they have this one. So they have gottery. They have gottery. So it smells so good. So they have this gottery or sweets, chocolates or anything that they used to put inside the poske egg and give to the children. So that is one of their way on celebrating the rebirth of Jesus or the day that Jesus rose again every Sunday. So if you will notice, Palm Sunday, Palm Sunday, and then Monday Thursday, Shar Torshdag, and then Lang Fredag, Black Friday, they used to commemorate the resurrection of the Lord, and then Poske often Saturday until the morning of Sunday and then they have this yeah poske egg Easter hunting poske hare lots of gottery so we already talking about gottery sweets chocolates Norwegians have this one so this is quick lunch so when you open it it have it comes with six packs so it has this one this is Norwegian's Kit Kat. Kit Kat and Quick Lunch is almost the same, but I can say that I really love this one. I, yeah, I think Quick Lunch is the best. <laughs> but uh, this is my own opinion. You can just comment down below what do you think. 
yeah if you already taste quick lunch versus kit kat so i can open it it looks like kit kat see it it looks like kit kat i cannot handle myself i need to taste it i i need to eat it very good yeah so that is quick lunch that they use to bring outside of course norwegians need energy when they go to hiking skiing climbing the mountains and this one is a good source of energy quick lunch also norwegians has a lot of things when uh, it is holy week just like poske flux so it is a kind of scratch card that you will scratch and you can uh, win yeah so this is poske flux also norwegians is addicted to poske cream or easter easter crimes they are so fun of crimes and they want to solve crimes yeah during poske so this is their uh, tradition also when it is holy week when it is poske okay to read books about poske crime or poske crime or to watch movies or tv series that is all about poske crime so that is one of their addictions <laughs> and also they have lots of board games that they used to play with their families when they are in the cabin in the heat so that are the things that norwegians used to do when it is holy week and the decorations like this one poske hare poske egg so gotteri quick lunch so those are one of the symbolisms of norwegians when it is holy week and of course they have different flowers of course but i don't buy it because i have lots of tulips and they're poske lilie so they have a lot of things when it is holy week and i hope that you have learned a lot of important vocabulary words in norwegian and understand how norwegians celebrate their holy weeks again thank you so much for watching and if you learned and liked this video don't forget to thumbs up and share this video with your friends and families who wants to learn more about norwegians again i am donita your pinay teacher in norway and i'm creating videos about my experiences life culture here in norway and please don't forget to subscribe on my youtube channel for you to be updated when i have new uploads thank you so much and god bless you all bye